Well, I wanted to show you today a, a new item that I purchased. Um, it's called an Out Sunny compressor freezer. Boxing. The box is pretty sturdy. They say it's polypropylene and polyethylene plastic. And it arrives. So out sunny. This 12 volt cord it plugs in here and has a turn. It turns perfectly and comes straight down into my 12 volt system. I already have a 12 volt circuit here ready for it. Uh, that's where it's going. Okay, I plugged it in to the 12 volt. And then I turned it on. I haven't messed with any settings yet. It says 23C. Uh, you have to turn the power on for it to come on. Um, so it's got a thermostat. And you can hear it. There's a fan going. It's in standard mode. There is an emergency mode. Power 12 volts or 24 volts. R134. It's got a foaming agent. Climate class. The model is 003. Portable freezer. Made in China. There's the LED lights. I showed you the freezer compartment and the 20 count pack of popsicles. You can put two of them in there plus have room for an ice tray over the top. Okay. So I've got it on. Instruction manual. Product features. Fridge is for keeping fresh or cooling food and drinks. High efficiency compressor. Insulation materials without CFC, blah blah blah. DC inverter compressor. Uh, with big size movable storage basket. Hmm. Well, big size. So the Chinese don't have as large a uh, vocabulary as, as we possibly. It says it has a microcomputer control, LED display, failure tips, uh, tips means alerts, I'm sure, indicate failure alerts and temperature setting minus 18 to 10. Okay, a few things. It has a battery cutoff mode uh, where it will cut itself off uh, at 10.1 uh, volts. There's three modes you can set it 11.8, 10.1, or 11.4. Um, it's safe to take lithium batteries down pretty low, but not really lead batteries. So you don't want to take your lead, I mean, set it on the high mode for your lead acid batteries. Um, restarting voltage 12.6 on the high mode and uh, that's on 12 volt and it also operates with 24 volt I have a 12 volt system I have 24 volts where the batteries but it's a they're wired in parallel so I have a 12 volt system um, I am building some lithium 24 volt batteries as well um, but those I'm stepping down to 12. Uh, I'm building a th that'll be in another video. That's need some used laptop batteries I'm picking up. So it tells you how to change the lamp light um, if it ever needs it. Defrosting water vapor or frost may freeze in the freezer's in wall. Uh, we that reduces the refrigerating capacity. 
Uh, I don't know if they mean the free the volume inside or the efficiency. Uh, probably both, uh, because heat transfer through ice is less than heat transfer through aluminum. Okay, so. Let's see. So, um, it's got some troubleshooting. So, and it is a Chinese manual, so you'll have to learn your American translated Chinese to read it. I think you've seen it all. I've shown it to you. So, it doesn't really say anywhere how much juice it uses. And the compressor is a little bit louder than my other refrigerator. But it's a very solid, sturdy model. And I noticed that the screws that came with it to attach the handles were um, stainless steel. So I think they've used good quality materials to build it. I'm not compensated at all for making this review. And uh, this was just something I saw online, and I went for it. I had not read any reviews on it, uh, so this may be one of the only reviews on the internet. Maybe, uh, okay, you can hear it. It's dropping fast, okay, now it's down to 19C, and you can hear the fan, maybe. Chip close. Uses R134 coolant. I've had it plugged in only about 10 minutes and it's dropped 10 degrees Celsius in that time. It says to, uh, I don't know if you can read this, press the set button once, start the setting temperature uh, mode, and then up and down to set it between minus 18 Celsius and 10 centigrade. Okay. Press it again to Fahrenheit. So changes it to Fahrenheit mode if you press it twice. So let's try that. All right. Now we're in, it's going down to 18 C minus. I don't want it that high. Let's see if it does a conversion. I'm going to go to one degree Celsius minus. Okay. And set and set again. This is low. Eleven C, one C, low. N E, N E, low. Battery protector on low. I want it on high. Centigrade. Oh, I see what you do. Okay. That's on centigrade, now it's on Fahrenheit. So you put it on the C button, and then you got to push that to get it on Fahrenheit. It doesn't tell you that, you're just going to have to figure that out. So, it's right now inside it's 48F Fahrenheit. And 31 Fahrenheit is what it's set for. And NE means I'm not sure. Let's go back to any high. I want it on high. Okay. So there it's set. It's set for 31 degrees on high restart uh, battery protection level because of lead acid. If you had lithium ion, you could go down to low or medium and still protect your batteries somewhat. You don't want to discharge any battery too far because um, this guy will still be drawing power 
all the way down to um, battery protection level um, on 12 volt 10.1 plus or minus 3 volts 0.3 volts so it'll be drawing power all the way down below 10 and that will ruin your lith your lead acid batteries but won't won't uh, harm your lithium batteries as much you can set it for 12.4 which is fine 12.4 is 3 18 650 cells 12.4 and those will charge to 12.6 3 18 650 uh, cells out of a laptop or an electric bike any of those or electric tools those are all run on 18 650 cells we'll see Is the compressor still on you can hear it you can hear a fan there's some heat coming out from this side not terrible seems like this is the input this is the output. I'm going to have to make sure I leave plenty of room on this edge here. So we'll probably move this over this way. Again, this will, it comes with a 12 volt adapter. Um, like a laptop charger, 12 volt. Probably about a 14 volt output. Let's see. Uh, output 24 volts. So output is 24 volts. 4.75 amps. And regular house input. It, okay, I don't know if you can read that, but it says power 12 volts at, uh, I'm sorry about the shaking, it's 12 volts at 4.62 amps. And 24 volts, 3 amps. So 24 times 3, about 75 watts. Okay, that's about what it's going to be drawing. 12 times 5, and that's about 60 watts. Okay. Capacity 49 liters, 51 quarts, approximate. Well, there's low light right now in the track on purpose. And I'll open the door. Um, I wanted to show you it's 13 degrees. If you can see that Fahrenheit. I have it set right now for 9. So it'll get there eventually. I have it set on high for uh, high cutoff. So when it gets to below 13.5. Uh, six it'll cut off and won't won't cool anymore inside we're making a little bit of ice and on the bottom it says 24 that says 13 okay I don't know if you can read that that says 24 and that says 13 now 14 um, and this cup, okay, put it in the sun so you can see it. We got a little ice, but it's taking it a while, um, but it should be fine. So the deal is this side is the freezer, the big side, and this side is the chiller, the small side. Looks like there's a little drain there too. Maybe that's a piece of grass. That's just a piece of little grass. Uh, so this is the chiller side, and this is the cooler side. This is the cold side. So um, to set the, to use this as a freezer, um, we'll have to see. Um, it may just be useful as a large freezer and a small refrigerator, which is not terrible. You know, you can store milk frozen and beer 
Uh, you don't want it to freeze because the cans expand. So we'll we'll have to see what happens. It may be just something where we make ice and then have another little uh, cooler, ice cooler. But we'll see. We'll see how that works. I think it's going to be fine. It does. Uh, it is. You are able to set it for as high as 50 Fahrenheit and as low as 0 Fahrenheit. Okay, so you can set it for say 30. Right now it says it's set for 18. So, so if you, I, you know, there's going to be a on off kick on, you know, a tolerance. So when it uh, reaches 30, it'll kick on. If you set it for, say, I don't know, 32, maybe when it reaches 34, it'll kick on. There'll be a tolerance, and we'll just have to figure it out. I've only had it a few hours, so um, this has been the review on the Out Sunny 5.1 cubic foot refrigerator you saw the unboxing and this I think it'll work time will tell